Shorty! No, no, lady, we go for a ride! Okay, I got the hat. Let do for a whip. Don't have the 45 revolver. And I don't have any stones or gold or anything. So no, but do have a cool drawbridge. Oh, I don't have the machete. I'm not, I'm not your Huckleberry. I'm not, I'm not your Indiana. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. Last Saturday, I was about seven miles upstream. Was where I was fishing. Well, the first creek I was fishing is actually a tributary that comes in way down here, but about three miles up from the main river. And then I also fished the upper, upper, upper part. So I'm back down here. I've never done really good down here. I think there's fish in here. I think there's plenty of fish. I think they're just not, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I've talked to a couple other fish from and no one's catching squat. I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens. This is a yellow jacket. It's probably going to come apart on me. <laughs> it's one of the poorest tide ones I've ever done. Golly, this river's pretty. I've never fished here. I fished downstream about a mile in that area. Never fished this right here. <laughs> okay, all right. Little, but it's a fish. <laughs> Golly. And I left the net in the car by accident. On the yellow jacket dry. Hey, Derek, don't you ever throw anything else? Yeah. Fuzzy caterpillar. <laughs> this time of year, man. Uh, I, I like the terrestrials this time of year. Fish seem to. Oh, is that water is nice, cool. A little warmer than I like it, though, for trout. I bet you the decent fish in this part of the river, because it gets so warm in the summer. I'll bet you they pretty much feed at night. No. <laughs> Actually, I saw that fish's body. I was like, that was not one of those micro. Well, he was small. He was very small. But he wasn't a micro. We're getting interest from fish other than the micros. <laughs> but mostly the micros. I need to put my sleeves down. And then again, I would like to get a little bit of vitamin D. The natural way. <laughs> Ain't no size to them yet. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh well, that's okay. Today's a bonus day. Today is a bonus day. Man, got it to myself. Nice. It's beautiful down here. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'll be honest with you guys, there's days I don't want to hike two and a half miles in or three miles or whatever it is I'm going to end up doing today. I'm talking one way. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think ah, there's a fish here and there that'll hit this, but not all of them. Don't make me get out the fuzzy caterpillar. I'll do it. You just ask the audience out there, fish. I'll tell you. Derek will use a fuzzy caterpillar at the drop of the hat, and he'll drop the hat. We're going to go with the full fuzzy caterpillar in chartreuse. Because that's, I've only got two left. <laughs> and one chartreuse, and the other one's amber colored. Or, oh no, orangish color. So, uh, let's see what happens. We may end up going, I don't know. Might end up throwing a wet fly. 
before this is over with. Well, I just had to creep around here, came out. There was a good one, bigger than anything I've hooked or caught today, right there, and I spooked him. Well, if I spook him fish, that means that I'm fishing over fish. That's always a good thing. Come out from under that rock, kill it. Try this a little bit more, and I'm going to start changing tactics. It is summertime. <laughs> it is getting close to the middle of the day. Not expecting a whole lot right now. Man, there's some good-looking little pockets and runs, and they got everything they need for a good fish to be in it. Low humidity day. Oh, that's a change in the weather. That could have had a lot to do with it. They do not like that. He does. Okay. Better fish. Better fish. Not big, but better. Less well, small. All right, he's fat. Oh yeah. I like little rainbows, man. I like them all. <laughs> I like them all, especially the ones that bite. <laughs> Those are my favorites, every time. Dang. I mean, that's not a great spot. It's definitely, it can hold a decent fish. <laughs> I like that one. That was not a bad trout at all. That was not a bad trout. He ain't coming. That was about the size of that, that, that last one I caught. The biggest one I've caught so far, he's about that size. Might be a little bigger. It was weighed in the balances and found the wanting. Oh, he came back for it after all. <laughs> I shoot, I was about to ring the pick up and cast somewhere else. Come on, buddy. There's more bows in here than I thought. And again, I've seen it. Some of these, some of these rivers that have a good, nice. Okay, there we go. Nine, ten, max. I like that. That's I could catch them like that all day, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> nice. Nope. Oh man, look at that pool. Oh, that looks good. The trail is right there. I mean, I'm literally you know, four or five seconds away from it. That means anyone walking down this trail, they would hit this hole <laughs> if they were fishing. But you know, it's not caught those fish, the few fish I've caught so far. They've all been way away from where the trail is. There's a hint there somewhere. Ha, <laughs> Ah, uh, six inches maybe. He came up and hit it. He did, I felt him good too. I don't know how in the world that fish did not get hooked. Caught him on the caterpillars, caught him on the yellow jackets. The biggest one I caught on the cater, on the, yeah, the caterpillar. So, I don't know, man, I've got a snake. I don't know. Dang, there should be fish there. Oh. That was a better fish. And you know what? I just broke him off. Because I'm an idiot. Got hugging up one of them trees. Frayed my tippet. And I've snapped it right off. Oh, there it is. Where is it? Come here, come here. There it goes. Dang it. <laughs> they are just extremely picky today. But it's that time of year. This is that time of year, man. You can hit it right sometimes, especially if you get a good, good thunderstorm or a light rain in the summertime. That's gonna turn them absolutely on. And I think he took it and I think I missed him. It was not big, but he wasn't one of those little itsy bitsy ones. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure, it's easy to wade this river. There ain't a whole lot of rock hopping and climbing over trees and everything else. Do like that. And his brother Sam Johnson from Wild Bearings would say it's 
geriatric waiting. <laughs> geriatric waiting. I like it. Dang, should have been there. These fish have quit. I mean, they've quit. Like, completely. Even the small ones aren't as aggressive. <laughs> the little micros. Man, they ain't doing it. They are done for the day. I think they are done for the day. Or at least for the morning. He sees it. He just doesn't want it. These fish ain't biting right now. There ain't nothing I do matters. <laughs> nothing I do matters right now. This is a ma massive waste of time. But, I've never been here. From where y'all saw me get in, I have not fished any of this. And man, there are some beautiful holes in here. Fish just ain't biting today. It is it's still hot, that water's still too warm. There is not one. Not that I can tell. Shoot. Dick. Gotta be way out of here. 